Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the second part for our e-commerce dashboard project. Here we will set up our backend. Backend means we will set up our Node.js part, right? And in the next video, we will set up our uh, React.js, uh, and you can say that that will be our front-end part. So what we will do in this video, first of all, we will download Node.js setup. After that, uh, we will install it and we will create a package.json file. We will install three important packages for our project. First one is Express, second one is MongoDB npm package, and last one is NodeMoon npm package. And then we will create an index.js file and we will run it that and we will check that our project is working or not. So all important package link is uh, just open here. So I I will show you whenever we will need these tabs. So first of all, uh, let's uh, just go to the nodejs.org site and from here you can download node.js setup you will find two options for download first one is lts that means long term support and second one is current so second one is basically latest version but this may not be uh, you can say that stable maybe there is some minor minor bugs so that's why uh, node.js also recommend and that's i'm also recommend that you just uh, need to go for the lts whenever you will click on it on it uh, node.js setup will be downloaded i already downloaded it because uh, so that we can save the time right and i am just double click on on it and then it will ask for installation that and that you just need to add some clicks over it over here and uh, your uh, node.js setup will be installed like this after installing you can uh, just simply go to the command line and you can check that this is working fine or not so for that you just need to check your the version so just simply put here node minus v and npm minus v and here you will find this is working fine because the version of both node and npm are visible here great so now what we need to do here let's go to the desktop and uh, create a folder so that uh, inside this folder we can create the uh, our project so let me put this folder name is e dashboard like this and uh, then go to in this folder and let's open the command line on the command line you can just run a command code dot after this command uh, your project will be open inside the visual studio uh, editor Keep in mind this command only work with the Visual Studio code. It will not gonna work with the WebStorm or Sublime and, and Atom and all. After that, let's open the terminal and uh, here we are going to create a package.json file. So let's simply create here npm in it. And this command will ask some questions like what is your project name and also our project name is e-commerce dashboard. Version, version is also fine description is also fine entry entry point is also fine there is a no test command for a moment there is a no git repository and all guys i will update this project on our git repository uh, this project means front end as well as back end and after some videos like four or five videos i will uh, just create a separate video for that how you can just download your back end and front end setup from github and how you can run it on your local machine because some guys are actually confused they are beginner they are freshers they don't know how we can run this project over the machines right so i will also guide you why i am not creating the that video now because till now we don't have any feature in our project we are just setting it up so that's why there is a no benefit if i am just going to tell you that how we can download the project from git and how we can run it because there is a no feature available in our project for a moment so after that you can just uh, it will ask for some options you can just uh, go with the flow and you can enter it after that uh, your package.json file be, will be created and you can create a one more file which is index.js right in this file we will write our code but uh, we also need three important packages first one is basically mongoose second one is nodeboon and third one is express npm package so now let's install the express first so let me just simply put here uh, npm i express 
and uh, it will just take, took a while to install this package and uh, after that we will install our mongoose so mongoose, mongoose and uh, node moon we can install them together also uh, with a single command we can install them all of these package but i will just telling you one by one because some uh, freshers maybe just get confused at how we can install them together and all so let me just uh, take them one by one and uh, after installing all these package then we will start writing some code with the uh, index.js right so let me take a const here express and let's require here express uh, package and uh, then guys if you are not understanding that what is that express what is that mongodb and uh, what is that node moon and all then uh, you need to just start with the basic first right and for that i already created a playlist link is given in the description box from there you can just go through with our complete playlist there is around 50 videos and they will just around you can say that they are for zero to hero after that you can easily create the projects and all right so let me just take a app and uh, it will be basically executed express and let me just take create a route app dot get and let me just uh, put here slash that means this is the root route and uh, second function will basically uh, callback function this is the second parameter it will take again two parameter request and response and let's simply put here response dot send and that that what will do actually it will just provide the response to the request so i can just say that app is working like this right and after that i can just simply put here app dot uh, listener and i can just simply put here 5000 port you can use any port uh, to run your project and after that i am just running this code with the help of node moon right and now our project is started and we can just test it over 5000 port and here you can see that our app is working so our backend is already set up now in next video we will set our uh, front end some guys may ask that is that the monstack project actually yes what is the full form of monstack which is mongo express react node and here we are using all these technologies you just seen that in that video uh, we already installed the mongodb uh, package and express package and obviously we are using react for front end and this is the node.js project so you can say that this is the merge stack project thank you so much for watching this video and guys please don't forget to subscribe my channel because it's really hard to make video for you and if you are just getting some benefits then please like this video provide some valuable comments and obviously subscribe my channel thank you so much